So let's think a little bit about the performance of our list implementations. So, you know, keep in mind, list is an interface. And so um, there is no generic list. We have different ways of implementing a list. We've looked at two of them together. We've seen one approach that stores the items in the list in an array. We've seen a second approach that links items together um, using a custom inner class and some linkage between them. And from the perspective of the user, both look identical. Both perform the exactly, sorry, don't both uh, behave the exactly same way. They both implement the list interface. And in fact, both of these lists exist in the Java standard library. You can use a list that's an array list and you can use a list that's a linked list. Those are both Java classes that you can import from java.util. Um, so why are they both there? If one was always better than the other, then that's the only one that you'd find. Um, you know, there's no reason to have two around unless there's some sort of performance trade-off here. And it turns out there is. So let's talk about this. Um, and in order to really, um, to do this properly, we have to think about um, a couple of different operations. So um, there's uh, add, right? And we're going to talk uh, about add at the front and then add anywhere, right? Which, which is labeled as insert here. And then there's also get and set. Insert and remove actually here, you can look at both together. So there's get and set. Um, add and remove, and then the special case of add where we're adding at the front. Um, so with an array list, adding anywhere is on because we have to do this array copy, right? We have to uh, create a new array, copy everything over into the new array, and you know, doing it doesn't really matter where the new item is, the front, the back, whatever, right? It's always kind of the same amount of time because we have to copy over all these references to make space for this new item. With a linked list, Adding at the beginning is O1. And that's the critical thing here. Because if you look at the rest of this table, so get and set for an array list is O1 because it's just an array lookup. With linked list, it's ON. Add and remove throughout the list, right? Not at the front. For an array list is ON. It's the same thing as add at the front. So add and remove for an array list doesn't depend on where in the list. But the general case for a linked list is ON. So, you know, this is an interesting case because if we just looked at get, set, add, and the general case of add and remove, we would say, why ever use a linked list? It's slower for get and set, and it's slower, it's the same performance for add and remove. So what's so great about it? Adding at the front is fast with a linked list. And it turns out we can also make some small changes to our linked list, uh, uh, linked list implementation so that adding at the back uh, adding and removing from the front and the back of the list are very fast, right? Those can be constant time operations. And it turns out that there are some applications. So this is where this starts to get very interesting, right? You might build something that turns out to only modify the list at the front or the back or both. Um, there are some applications of lists where we only modify them in certain places or most of the time we modify them in certain places. And for those applications, a linked list can be um, a better choice because those operations are faster. In general, a general purpose choice for a list is array list is a good choice, right? Uh, because in general, the operations on array list tend to perform better. But if you have this certain case where your application is only modifying certain parts of the list, then you might want to think about using a linked list, and that's why uh, it's a part of the Java standard library. So again, anyway, to recap, get and set for an array list, constant time because it's just using that array lookup. For a linked list, it's ON because I got to walk the list to get to the right spot. Add and remove for uh, an array list, ON because I have to copy the entire array. For a linked list, it's ON because I've got to walk the list to get to the right spot. The special case here that causes the linked list to, that, that, that is the reason that we keep the linked list around is adding or removing from the front. And it turns out also we can get this to work at the end as well. So those special operations are constant time on a linked list, but still ON for an array list.